At Standard Insulating Company, we strongly believe in supporting community events. This week I want to introduce you to the Christopher Donnelty Cure Benefit, where we're raising money to support research in epilepsy. This is Howie. Howie was born with a rare form of spina bifida, and it was up in the cerebral area, not in the vertebral area. So what happened uh, while he was forming in mom, uh, he had some brain cells actually leak out. So Howie's left hemisphere is about a third of the size it's supposed to be. As a result, Howie has some stroke-like conditions on the right side of his body. Um, he has a few cognitive delays and he has epilepsy. We've gone through several different stages of, of trying to control Howie's seizures. Um, we've been to Montefiore Hospital and tried a ketogenic diet. Um, we've even had to go through um, a procedure, a possible procedure called a hemispherectomy where they were entertaining on uh, actually removing half of, of Howie's brain, his left hemisphere. Um, it's been a very long road, and, um, but uh, Howie's actually come out on the other side of it very well. He's outperformed a lot of things that his doctors had said that he would uh, rise to the occasion, um, and he has r rose to the occasion, so um, he's, he's doing very good right now. We've had to date five, this will be our sixth um, event in Utica. Uh, in memory of my son Christopher, um, who passed away from epilepsy in 2002. Christopher was our third child, um, the only boy. He had two older sisters who he adored. Um, he um, was tall and had um, an amazing presence in a room. He was very funny. When anybody talks about him, they talk about his sense of humor. He was very opinionated. Um, he had an opinion on everything, um, and he never hesitated to share that opinion. He um, was 21 years old when he died. He was a senior at Stetson University in Florida, where he went to play baseball. Um, he loved baseball, it was his passion, and actually had gone down there hoping to play and then injured his arm. Shortly after Christopher died, um, our family made a decision that we wanted to do something in his memory as a legacy to him to help other people who have epilepsy um, in his honor, in his memory. And um, I became aware of CURE and contacted the president of the organization at that time, Susan Axelrod, a mom who had started the organization in 1998. Um, and we talked for a while and um, felt very comfortable that this was something that we could support and that would make a difference. And so that's um, in 2003 then, we had our first benefit locally. In Utica. Folks, this time I'm going to turn my back on you. I do a mind reading Please show, hypnosis, comedy, I have a, uh, fortune telling. Heavy. I uh, had a uh, epilepsy when I was 12 years old. I was treated for it for a few years and then they said I didn't have any more seizures. And I went on through life and um, I've had a few more, so that's why I'm involved with this uh, along with uh, Gene and Barry, Barry Donnelty. This year I'll be performing at uh, the Cure event at Heart Cell Inn. I'm known as the world's greatest mentalist and psychic entertainer. I'll be reading some mind and doing some special mental art at this show. So come on out and see the show. It's September 7th at Hearts Hill Inn. We're so proud of what we've done in the community and we want to keep the momentum going. We want to uh, keep Cure's presence here. And um, so right after this event's over, we'll begin deciding how we want to do that in the future um, and get a group of people, younger people, um, who will carry on this legacy for us because we feel we've made a mark and we don't want to lose that. And we also feel that um, hopefully we've given hope to the people in this community who have epilepsy and want them to know that they're not alone in this, um, that there are people out there raising money for research and that we will continue to fight for a cure for them. As you can see, epilepsy affects our community in many ways. Benefits like this help us to fund research that's necessary to find a cure.